I think my curiosity um, really got sparked in college when I, you know, you show up on campus and I realized I can take all of these different classes, right? And there were so many different disciplines to take. It took me two years to figure out what I wanted to study when I wanted to major in because I was taking physics classes, history classes, English classes. Um, and I eventually settled on English literature. Um, and I think I was drawn to that because, you know, great literature always is asking these, these meta questions. What does it mean to be human? What's the purpose of our lives? Why? Uh, do people struggle in their lives so much, right? You see, what is the point of suffering? And all of these things that are there, these, these questions that we all ask ourselves are asked in very beautiful and poetic ways in great literature. Um, and it really makes you think about, you know, why am I living the way I am and so forth. But at the same time, I was also taking science classes. And so um, it really was my senior year. I was invited to work in a lab um, at, uh, as an undergraduate. And I really fell in love with that. I was working on a virus, trying to understand how it worked. And then uh, you can see, well, if I can understand the proteins that make it up, I can figure it out. And sort of the power of science to be able to, just, just to understand how things work or how things were put together. Um, you know, that, that, was, that was really sort of powerful and intoxicating in a sense to me. But at the same time, I really, you know, had this, this, this uh, uh, desire to understand and investigate these bigger questions. And so that really sort of um, propelled me as I went through my science career to think about what is science still and how can that be used or how does it relate to these bigger questions or can it even be used to ask these bigger questions? How does it relate to sort of philosophy and literature and so forth? Um, and, and that sort of animated, you know, um, I think uh, the way I've thought throughout my uh, professional life. Mm -hmm.